an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain, or shine. They smiled at the good. And frowned at the bad. They marched all over Paris, 12 little girls in two straight lines. Mademoiselle, nous sauverons votre petite fille. Attention, attention, en place. The smallest one was Madeline. Although she was small, the smallest one of all, she was not afraid of mice. She loved winter snow and ice. <laughs> to the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo, poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right! Afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast. And faster. <laughs> Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. Believe it, Doctor Madeleine est malade. Elle est malade. Soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dialed, Danton, 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room filled with flowers. Very soon she ate and drank. On her bed there was a crack. And a crack on the ceiling at the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees and sky. And so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning Miss Clavel said, Isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door. In they walked and they said, Oh, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They 
went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right! And afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, Oh, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more.